This video is about the Gibbs phase rule. And the Gibbs phase rule is a useful tool to determine the degree of freedom of a system of multiple components or substances at different phases. The equation is simple where it can be written as C minus P equals to F minus 2 where C is the number of components or substance P is the number of phases and F is the degree of freedom let's go through a few examples what if a system contains one component at one phase. For scenario number one, C is equals to one, P is equals to one, and thus F would be, using the equation here, one minus one equals to F minus two, which results in F equals to two, which means that you would need to fix two properties to make the system constant. In this case, the two properties can be temperature and pressure. Let's examine a second scenario where there are two phases but only one component or a pure substance. So C would still be 1 because one component, P is equals to 2 because two phases, and thus the equation would be 1 minus 2 equals to F minus 2, which would give us F equals to 1, which means that only one property needs to be fixed to make the system constant. So it could be either temperature or pressure. Now the third scenario is, what if the system has two components at two phases? Then C would be 2, P would also be 2, and that would give us 2 minus 2 equals to F minus 2, which means that F equals to 2. Thus for a two-component, two-phase system, two properties, temperature and pressure, needs to be fixed before the system can be at a constant state. 